the most Earth-like of the planets, the most likely to have developed forms of life, and probably the first to be visited by humans, Mars continues to be a focus of planetary exploration. Radar sounders aboard ESA's Mars Express and NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiters have already detected ice deposits deep underground. And now, after a 10-month journey, NASA's Phoenix Laboratory probe will continue the search for water. Its objective is to land in a permafrost region near the North Pole. Its suite of instruments will scan the atmosphere, and a robotic arm will attempt to dig down to an ice-rich layer expected to be at arm's reach below the surface. But water is not the sole element that could have harbored life on the Red Planet. Vittorio Formizano, investigator on Mars Express, believes, like many scientists, that methane could establish a link between life on Earth and what may be on Mars. Formizano's spectrometer on Mars Express has already found traces of methane in the atmosphere. His team in Rome is now trying to work out exactly where the gas is coming from. However, bacteriological activity is not the only possible source of methane. It could stem from volcanic activity, minerals or water ice and carbon dioxide being bombarded by energetic particles from space. So whilst orbiting spacecraft like Mars Express continue to harvest global views, in-situ observations on the surface remain necessary, like those of NASA's Phoenix Stationary Probe or ESA's ExoMars Mobile Laboratory, due to launch in 2011. The critical entry, descent and landing phase of the Phoenix Probe will, at NASA's request, be getting ESA support. The agency's two deep space tracking stations will be providing high-precision trajectory data. Mars Express itself has also adjusted its orbit to track and receive data from Phoenix as it arrives. The European orbiter's high-resolution stereo camera could, if lucky, get a glimpse of the incandescent probe and two other instruments will characterize how its descent is affected by the Martian atmosphere.